let's compare and contrast the CRKT Provoke and the CRKT Provoke EDC. Now, first off, this isn't a normal Provoke. This is actually the Zap model that I disassembled and dyed black. So it's gonna be a little different than the aluminum one or the all metal one. And this is the Provoke EDC that I've had for a couple months now. I've had this one for a couple years. So let's take a look at them. Let's deploy both of them. And let's look at the overall length. So they're pretty similar in length. Um, let's take a look at the weight of them. So let's first do the Provoke Zap. And that's going to be about 4.8 ounces, 4.75. And let's take a look at the EDC, about 3.5, 3.55 as it settles out. Um, let me turn this off a bit to the side. Okay, so about an ounce off or so different in weight. Now where the EDC really shines is just in the overall bulk. It's a little hard to tell just from pictures or videos, but the EDC is a lot slimmer and also just fits a lot smaller in the hand. The regular Provoke is kind of large um, and it made me use it less as just slip it into my pocket as an EDC. Another advantage for me for the EDC version is the blade shape. It's a little bit more useful for everyday tasks and beyond that it's just much easier to maintain this edge versus the hawkbill. I had to get some brown ceramic to maintain this edge. Both of them have a chisel ground blade. Not a perfectly true chisel because there is a bevel on the underside, but it is a chisel ground blade. And let's take a look at the thickness of the blades. Because of the thickness for the regular Provoke, it makes slicing tasks a little bit more difficult. Now, of course, you want the blade to be nice and strong, but for slicing, obviously thinner is gonna help out a little bit there. Let's take a look at the thickness of the blade, and we'll do it right kind of behind where it transitions from this to that. And we are looking at about 0.12 inches, and on the regular one, we're looking at about 0.18. So not quite half the thickness, but just by looking at them, you can see that this is gonna be a lot thinner. So that's one of the reasons that I got the EDC version because it's smaller, much more easy to just throw in a pocket. This one, you really know it's there, which isn't a bad thing, but this one I tend to carry more and maintain that, maintain the edge there. Um, they do differ in the locks. Let's take a look at um, the regular one. For this one, you push this way. You're pushing that way to unlock it. And for this one, you're going the opposite direction. You're pushing that way to unlock it. They both have very satisfying deployment. Um, like I said, I ended up dyeing the bright yellow zap version, this black, and it's worn in well, really hasn't really worn at all. Um, I ended up throwing the pocket clip in a tumbler to give it more of a worn look. And 
This one, I would say that the coating is holding up pretty well. I actually like it when you start seeing some little bit of wear. So we have some wear around that edge. I noticed also in there where the blade is hitting the thing, getting some wear there. The back's still pretty pristine. And this is using it every day for a couple months. And just kind of the edges is where it's getting worn. So starting to break in, looking pretty cool. So I, I love them both, but the EDC has found itself into my pocket a lot lately. It's pretty much been my exclusive EDC uh, for the last little bit. I Before that, I was using the Civivi Baby Banter quite a bit. I still really like that knife, how small it is. But this one, I like the ability to do everyday tasks and then just have a secure grip in case that were ever to become a necessity. For the regular Provoke, there is the compact version. And what I'm really looking for, my ideal version of this would be the EDC Compact. A little bit smaller. Um, I like the blade shape. It would be interesting to see what other blade shapes they could come along with. But an even more compact version of this would be awesome for me. The mechanism is so cool. And this is becoming one of my favorite series of knives. I almost got the compact version of the regular one, but when I saw this, this became my new infatuation. So yeah, um, they are both very interesting knives and really fun to, to use and to carry. So if you have any questions about this, let me know. And thanks for watching.